Okay, next it's time to remove our harmonic balancer, the crankshaft bolt and the harmonic balancer. I got a air gun, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to use to remove this, but if you don't and your car is an automatic, there is a special tool that holds this in place that you can uh, get from Subaru or it would probably be a lot easier and uh, cheaper <laughs> if, you, if you do this. Basically, you get two of these, just put them in each one, get another one in here, then get your pry bar, put it in there like that. Maybe rest it against the ground if you're doing this in the car, which you probably will be. Or, you know, have someone hold it. Then you get your uh, 22 millimeter, I believe, socket in there. And you just twist that off. Okay, and if you have a manual transmission, uh, you can remove it this way. Just uh, go to the back of the engine block. There's going to be... Well, I haven't done this. I just basically researched this online. There's going to be an access point. I don't know if it's that bolt hole uh, or there's a different one, but basically you get access through that to your flywheel that's going to be back here and then you just stick a strong screwdriver or uh, maybe a something uh, like a, from your uh, chisel and punch set, something super strong. You just stick it in there that that's, uh, sticks, that grabs the teeth of the flywheel and then uh, you can uh, twist your, uh, get, get a 22 millimeter on here and then twist that off and uh, you can do it that way. That's only if you have a manual transmission. Okay, next we should be able to wiggle this out. If you have a hard time wiggling this out, just, uh, you know, you can hit it on the sides with a rubber mallet and keep wiggling it. Just resist the urge to stick anything underneath it and pry it open, pry it out, okay? Okay, next we need to remove all the 10 millimeter bolts that are holding this other, this, uh, I guess the right side timing belt cover in place. I think there's about, uh, there's 11 bolts around the circumference of this. So we're gonna remove this next. Okay, with the last, uh, after we remove all the bolts, we just pull on this timing belt cover and it'll come off. There's a rubber seal around this, so don't, don't lose that. Okay, so with that timing belt cover off, we have a closer look at all our timing components. And they all look in <laughs> near new condition. I mean, they look pretty good. This tensioner looks new. Uh, this hydraulic tensioner. All the rollers look in really good shape. The water pump looks good. So it looks like uh, not too long ago there was a timing belt job done on this. The timing belt itself looks in pretty good. And uh, if you're wondering how you can inspect the timing belt, well, besides taking it off, and uh, which you should, you should take it off and uh, you know inspect it closely. You know, you bend it and then you inspect all the all inside of the, all the ridges. Another way is to just look at it directly, and then. Uh, Look at the top of the ridges. They have to be. They should be round. You know, if they're started to deform and uh, they're not as round, as perfectly round as they they should be, that means it's getting uh, it's getting worn and it's time to replace it. Okay, but uh, so yeah, since I'm gonna be reusing pretty much all the timing components in this, I'm going to well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. There, this hydraulic tensioner, there's a piston inside. I don't know if you can... That guy right there, that basically pushes against the, the block and it pushes this down against the timing bolt and, and it applies a tension to this. So what we need to do, what I'm gonna do is actually get uh, get my ratchet on here and then uh, turn this bolt, turn this whole this assembly uh, clockwise that pushes that piston in and then just get a nail or a, like a drill bit and uh, slide it in, in this hole through the, the piston and then there's another hole like this at the back and then that will keep the piston in place. And then I'm going to un un uh, undo this bolt and take the tensioner out and remove the timing belt. If you're removing your, if you, uh, if you're removing, uh, if you're replacing the timing belt, you can always just cut the timing belt. But uh, I guess I, I would recommend you do the same since uh, and I, if you're uh, reusing this you do what I'm doing now, which is to push that piston back in and uh, put a nail or a drill bit through that hole. This has to be strong though, because there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's gonna, that, that piston is gonna apply a lot of tension to whatever you put through there, okay? But if you're, re if you're uh, replacing this as well, you know, it doesn't matter what, how you take it out, okay? <laughs> okay, I got my nail ready. Just gonna through the, put it through this hole and uh, 
the hole in the piston and once this, this goes up enough that just pushes in and locks it in place and you want to do this as slowly as possible you know there's not a whole lot you need to to make up for you know you just need to turn this maybe up a few millimeters but you want to do that as slowly as possible you know definitely don't crank on this hard at all okay otherwise you're gonna you you, uh, you risk damaging the, the hydraulic tension this is all if you're gonna reuse this see I'm applying tension right now but uh, it's taking my time There we go. Should be in place now. Just let go. All right. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but uh, there it is. How it's how this is how it should look. As you can see, this is already bending the nail a little bit. So just uh, again, make sure you put something there that's strong. It's gonna keep it in place. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm gonna remove that bolt and remove the tensioner and the timing bolt. But something I forgot to show you guys is all the timing marks on the the other stuff, on the crank. There's the timing, there's a notch in the crank that needs to line up with this, uh, this notch on the block and which is right below the crankshaft position sensor and on the right side camshaft again <clears throat> there's this notch that someone got white out on that needs to line up with that which someone else, someone has got white out, on, white out on again so if you don't have that mark back there if you're taking apart the uh, your, your, the timing bolts make sure you put that mark on there and this, you should have this notch though, but for uh, easy reference, you can put white out on here too. Okay. There we go. Next, we remove our timing belt. But if you're like me and you're gonna reuse a timing belt, just make sure you mark the direction which is rotating, which is clockwise. Should you put it on back the same way? Okay, next we're gonna remove our three roll rollers, which we got two that are smooth, and then we got one tooth one, and they all they all take a 14 millimeter bolt. Next it's time to slide off this crankshaft uh, gear or pulley and you know this is, this looks like it's going to come out easy but if yours doesn't just spray some PB blaster around here you know maybe uh, hit it with a rubber mallet just around the sides just to break up the, the corrosion that could be in there and then you just uh, you know just pull on it it should come out just Again, you know, as much as you can, resist the urge of sticking anything behind it, because especially on the crankshaft, this is how the timing is. Uh, your crankshaft uh, time, uh, your crankshaft sensor, you know, knows where it is. If you, these teeth are on here, if you bend those and break those, then you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have to replace this. Okay, so be patient. There we go. All right. Speaking of not losing stuff, look what I found. Here's the washer. It's probably for your. Uh, that's that's for the hydraulic tensioner. And so, there you go. I lost it again. No, oh, there it is. All right. So, so yeah, your hydraulic tensioner has two washers. One goes here at the, at the back, and then you get another one here at top by by the bolt. Okay, so don't lose it. Okay. Next, we're gonna remove our water pump, which is held in place by these six bolts around the circumference. But before we do that, we need to disconnect this hose first. Just take this. Clamp off, and give this the old twist, uh, the old twister. Knock it loose, and it should come out now. Hopefully, there we go. 